How's it going you guys? Scott with Everyday Home Repairs. Let's talk about one of the most hated products in the electrical industry and that is tamper resistant outlets. Now tamper resistant outlets have a very valid and important mission and that is to increase the safety of our outlets. What it's trying to do is really avoid the scenario of a small child introducing a small screwdriver or a fork or a key and pressing that into the slot, the small side, which is the hot side, and pressing in and making contact. If they were to do that in a normal outlet, they can make contact, introducing a path to ground, and that could be a very dangerous situation. But with a TR or tamper resistant, when you press in just one side, you're not able to push within the outlet. There are actual shutters on the inside where you have to press in both the hot and neutral side to slide those shutters to the side so the prongs can actually come in and make contact with the hot and neutral sides. Sounds good, right? I think we all can get on board with anything that helps to improve the safety in our home. The challenge is in reality. In reality, when I go down to my home improvement store, I look at the availability of outlets, the majority or the largest selection of outlets are non tamper resistant outlets or just standard outlets and the cheapest, right? Residential grade is gonna be your most common that you're gonna see. That's gonna be the larger bins, at least in my area. And when I pull my community, over a thousand people voting, 64% say if they're changing out an outlet today, they would be using a standard non tamper resistant outlet. So why is that? If it's safer, why are people not adopting it after this many years? And I think there are some valid reasons for that. Number one goes back to just that availability. Now, whether you're a DIY or safely doing electrical projects around your own house, and you just bought a ton of outlets at one point because you're doing a detached garage or whatever, and you have extras left over that you've been kind of using for years and years, that might be why you're still using standard. Or like me, when you go down to the home improvement store, maybe the standard's all that's available and what you need is not available in the tamper resistant versions. So you're probably gonna get the standard, right? Even though you do wanna keep your home safe. Number two goes to price. So the vast majority of homeowners and rightfully so are price sensitive. So even though they want to be safe, when we look at these commercial grade Legrand outlets, so they're 15 amp, they're the same type of outlet, one is standard and then one is the tamper resistant. You have 198 as your price for the standard, so two bucks, and then you have 498 or five bucks for the tamper resistant. So you are more than two Xing your cost for the feature of being tamper resistant, which I can see for some homeowners or most homeowners, that is a tough pill to swallow. So let's actually show you. I'm gonna open up the tamper resistance and show you what that additional $3 gets you. And that will actually dovetail right into our third point on why people are not using tamper resistant outlets. So these are the commercial grade 15 amp Legrand outlets. These are my go-to. They're my favorite and what I recommend to homeowners. On the right hand side here is the $1.98 non tamper resistant. And then you can see that little TR there on the left hand side and that is the tamper resistant the yoke, housing, terminals, back wire feature, everything is exactly the same. The only difference you can start to see when you kind of match up these housings, you can see the TR is quite a bit thicker. So why is that? Well, that's because it has to house the feature to make it tamper resistant. So I grinded off the little plastic tab so we can easily remove this and see what's going on. So if you look from the back side and I introduce, you can see these little shutters that push to the side. So if I introduce a plug in both the hot and neutral, it allows the plug to go by. Now if I just try to press from one side, it's actually going to try to slide one shutter, but it won't slide both shutters over. And that's how the feature works from a safety perspective. Because you're only pushing from the one side, you cannot open both of those shutters. There's actually two shutters in there, so it will not open up the path and then not allow you to actually make the connection. The $3 is associated to this thicker housing and these two different units here that are the tamper resistant feature. They have two springs, they have plastic components, 
And you can see this is also where additional failures come in and where sometimes things can start to get bound up. And that is point number three, is the binding up or just the tamper resistant features themselves not working very well. You have a standard plug, you're trying to plug it in and you, you get caught up trying to plug that thing up and bound up and you're really fighting it. That's super common with these tamper resistance. And to be honest, I put that back on the electrical industry. I put that back on the brands. When the NAC ruled out the requirements and started working with the industry to make sure things were safer, I don't think we put enough attention to detail on how the brands were solving that. I completely understand design takes time and money, but I don't think this solution is very elegant and because of its dysfunction, that is leading to people not installing tamper resistant. So that's obviously not helping with safety. No matter how many tamper resistant outlets are sitting on the shelf, if they're not being installed, are we really getting to the goal that we want? Now, the best one that I've ran across is that commercial grade Legrand, and I'll put a link in the description below the video. That one has a solid, shutter mechanism that I showed you. I think that's better than a lot of the other brands that I've seen. And I just like the Legrand commercial grade outlet in general. So that is what I would recommend to you. But let me know down in the description, do you have any other good experience with tamper resistant outlets or even ones that you say avoid at all costs because they're just terrible to work with? I always appreciate getting your guys' feedback. And if there's any common other brands or threads, I will pin that comment at the top of the comment section so you can get the benefit of it as well. Now, if you wanna dive a little bit deeper into electrical, check out this video right here. There is a couple issues I found in even a newly built home in my area that you wanna avoid on your projects around the house. So thanks for joining me on this video and we'll catch you on the next one. Take care.